We're going to look at one important idea in simplifying fractions that we're going to need for our next step in algebra. Let's imagine a learner was faced with these two fractions and asked to simplify them. So in this one where they've got 5 plus 3 over 5, imagine they just said, oh, I can cancel the 5s and what I'll have left is 3. And in this case, they also say, oh, I can cancel the 5s and what I'll have left is 3. Pause the video now and think for yourself, where was this learner right? And where were they not right? Okay, hopefully you had a look at this and said 5 plus 3 over 5, that is 8 over 5. And 8 over 5 is certainly not the same as 3. So what the learner did here is wrong. You can't do that. And the important point to note is that you've got a plus sign there. This one, on the other hand, is no problem whatsoever. 5 times 3 over 5, if you worked it out, it's 15 over 5, which is equal to 3. So this is going to get a big tick. You can do that. And the important thing to note is that you've got a multiplication sign. And so what we have is this idea that if you have an addition or subtraction in the fraction, you can't just happily cancel away. It's no problem if you've got a multiplication because really what this is is 5 times 3 divided by 5. Multiplication, division, they're all related. They're all on the same level, so you can actually just cancel through. But when you have an addition or a subtraction, you cannot just cancel. Remember when we looked at it way back in grade 8, you recognized that division and multiplication have to distribute over plus. The 5 has to divide into the 5 and the 5 has to divide into the 3. But the long and the short of it is, if, the, if, the, if you've got two things added on the top, you can't just cancel. But if you've got them multiplied, you can. So the basic rule you should have floating in the back of your head all the time is you can't cancel over plus or minus. Okay, so have a look at these four here. Where can you cancel the x's and where can't you? Pause the video and decide for yourself. Okay, so hopefully this one, you saw that you can't do a cancellation there because of this subtraction at the top, x minus y. This next one, no problem at all. You can cancel the x's because you've got multiplication at the top. This next one over here, again no problem because what you've got at the top is in fact x times y. So we can cancel. And then in this last one, well we can do some cancelling because we've got x multiplied by this whole thing. So even though this whole thing has got a plus in it, right? It doesn't matter. It's x multiplied by this whole thing. So we can cancel these two x's and be left with x plus y. 